Funny or Die revealed to the world that early in her career, get this, Jewel paired up with a fellow Alaskan, Sarah Palin. Here is part of that satirical show business story. Watch. My first night in town, I play this open mic at this place called The Crab and Coffee. And afterwards, this woman comes up to me and she was like, hey, my name's Sarah. I play flute. Do you want to jam sometime? And I was like, yeah. I really wanted to call us the Gold Rush Girls with a Z. But she was really into these sort of jam bandy kind of names. I think her first suggestion was the Andromeda Theorem. She was like, I'm gonna be on Saturday Night Live before you are. And I was like, I'm gonna be on the cover of Time Magazine before you. And then all of a sudden she screams, the hell you are. I was like, whoa. She was like, I'm quitting. I wanna spend more time with the kids. Todd needs help with his fishing business. And uh, I wanna run for the governor of Alaska. To your knowledge, dear Jewel, did anybody buy that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just hit the web today, so I have no idea. I haven't checked in. You, do you think some people will? I definitely think so, yeah. <laughs> do, uh, you like doing things like that? You love know? it. I love doing skits like that. Uh, I got to do one where I made fun of my snaggle tooth, where I use it to sort of as a tool to save your lives. snaggle and, tooth. Yeah, the tooth that sticks out here. I like it. I like to be able to poke fun of myself. And you the, also did a video for Funny or Die undercover karaoke where yeah. you go in like a regular person to karaoke joint get up and sing your own songs right yeah i dressed in prosthetics as somebody else and got up and sang my own music and it was really touching the audience made that a really special moment um i don't know it was a, it was a neat experience for me to see people's mouths drop open when they heard my <laughs> voice they dressed as somebody else and they were so happy for my character karen they thought she was going to make it make what it do you big. think of sarah palin by the way you're both alaskan i can't say we agree on everything political wise but um, Alaskan women are really can-do women. Um, they are. I love the state I'm from. The people up there are really grounded, really down to earth, very unaffected, and the women feel like they can do anything, and I love that, and I like that about Sarah's. Why well. is that? What makes Alaska different? It's really the last frontier. It's the pioneer state. You know, I was the father of, the daughter of a pioneer family. Um, they settled it in the 50s, were given a homestead. And the women up there had to do for themselves. You know, they had to shoe their own horses and plow their own fields. Um, and I think it's just something that's been handed down generationally. Did you start there singing? I did, yeah. I started there. My parents were musicians, so I started singing with them when I was six. And then my dad and I became a duet when I was eight, and we started singing in bars all across the, the state. What do you think of Bristol, Sarah's daughter? She's going to be on Dancing with the Stars. Is it confirmed? Yeah, I think so. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, gosh. You were supposed to, to compete. Mm -hmm. What happened? Uh, I fractured both my legs, if you can believe that. I was rehearsing too hard. I didn't know you could fracture your legs rehearsing too hard. You, well, you, you were running around the stage? Yeah, I just went from, you know, zero hours of dancing to suddenly eight hours a day. And I guess it was too much. I got stress fractures, basically. It's not from falling. It was just from an overuse injury. Would you, would you like to go on that show someday? You know, the only reason I really want to do the show was to get abs, which probably isn't a great reason to do a reality show. <laughs> really a vain reason but <laughs> all right last night at the emmys mm -hmm. you sang a song you wrote yeah uh in co commemoration of those who passed away is that a difficult slot to do i was really honored that they let me uh sing that song it's an unknown song nobody had ever heard it it's not famous and it's sort of unusual in a show like that they usually want a very famous song um it was really a personal song i wrote it for a friend of mine that passed away from cancer it's a difficult song for me to sing and it was hard to get through there, um, but I was really glad to get to sing it for my friend that passed what away the and the families. The Shape of You, and uh, it's up on iTunes now, just me, solo acoustic guitar. Did you have to time anything with what they were doing on screen? I did, and when I play solo acoustic, I never do that. I just sort of, the time changes, but I had to do it to a click, and it was married to a video, so yeah, it had to be a bit strict.